Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new SPC that was released today and honestly, this is the type of content that they should release constantly because with the right chemistry style on a card like this, this is actually good content because I think the price of this SBC is at 120 or 130k. If you have like untradeables in your club towards trading towards this player, it's pretty decent, right? So in regards to his in-game abilities, guys, yeah, he is six foot tall with high medium work rates, four star skills and a four star weak foot. In regards to his base card stats, he already looks pretty solid, right? But in regards to his specific stats, he actually looks really, really good, right? 95 acceleration with 92 sprint speed. He has 99 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 93 shot power. Doesn't have long shots and volleys, which is completely fine because you don't really take those shots that often anyways. The bounce pass and being able to volley that, that's one shot that might not be consistent because of the 51 volleys. But again, not necessarily a huge deal for the price that you're paying for this card. Um, in regards to his composure, he already has 97 composure. So... This is the important thing with these types of cards is that look at the way that the stats are set up in regards to short passes, long passes. It's pretty obvious that you're going to give him an engine chemistry style. But if you give him the engine chemistry style, you make him an incredibly usable card for a great price that is potentially really, really good in game. So that's the first thing that we're going to do for this card is that we are going to give him... Uh, the chemistry style of engine, which I don't have, so I have to go pick that up afterwards. But in regards to his dribbling stats, guys, you can see that he has 87 balance, 85 reaction. So boosting that balance by a 10, as well as his agility by a 5, is going to be a super ideal situation because you'll be boosting the reactions, ball control, and dribbling as well. So his dribbling should essentially be very, very good in game. And then he also has 76 strength with 91 stamina. So this is the type of SBC content I expect every single day because this guy, there's a lot of cool concepts to work around him, right? Bundesliga, Japanese, he's a center forward, so you can line him up in the CDM position, center mid, cam, striker, center forward, to line him up in certain squads um, for those links before you actually get into the game. So very, very important that they make teams or players like this. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put a Bundesliga manager for this team. I'm going to give him the engine chemistry style to see what's up with it, and then we'll go in game and see how he plays. We're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 as we normally do, guys. Um, I'm going to keep it on 7 for balance just to see what he's like off the ball wise. We're going to have pressure on heavy touch 4 and 4 as we normally do. Uh, he's going to be playing as the main striker. Got to switch some of these guys around. Ryan Kent over there. Rude Hullet can play in the cam position with Gnabry off to the right side. And then Kamada will be playing in the striker position. But he, he definitely can come back in the fence if you want to line him up that way. But because of the way that I've been lining up the 4-2-3-1 recently, uh, we're going to keep him on stay forward. Just for like a decent balance in the team. Um, we're going to have him on stay forward, but we're not going to tell him to stay central. We're not going to tell him to drift wide. I want to see how he moves off the ball, especially with the good pace, good attacking, uh, good attacking positioning and work rates, right? So very, very important stuff to take into consideration. So I'm going to put a Bundesliga manager. I'm going to go get the engine chemistry style. We're going to get into a game and see how he plays. Oh, this guy's got like a concept team here, actually. Yeah, he did a couple of the SBCs before. Some cool foot champs players. I like this team. He's got a little bit of meta, but then he's also got a very good balance of trying to have fun as well. Did the moments Davidson Sanchez with Laporte in there. It's a nice team. Okay, so how do you move off the ball over here on balance? Starts making that run right there. See what your dribbling is like. His dribbling is actually really solid for the height that he has. That's pretty good. Shielding is instantly there, is instant there as well, which is nice. Almost get that ball there in that situation. Obviously, coming off of a skill move that I did beforehand and then doing the relay right, right after is not ideal, but. Nice. There you go. See, CEA, listen, man. This right here, this is what I'm talking about. I have to change the names. Scruffy, you're going to be watching this video. Make sure you put the player indicator setting, player name and indicator. I'll show you guys this right now because it's crazy. I, I don't trust you guys if you guys don't use this setting, man. Like, I don't know what's, what's up with you dudes, right? Player name and indicator, player name on top. But guys, I didn't aggressively make that run right there. He utilized empty space instantly. He has the four-star weak foot, good base shooting and shot power stats to score that opportunity, right? That was with his left foot. So, pretty nice so far.
See what he does over here. Oh, he goes right back into the middle. I actually like that personally. I like that he's selectively choosing the move the moments where he actually wants to make those specific runs. Look how he goes back into the striker position instantly. I'm liking this card, man. It's a really, really good concept card, man. Really good. It's like more than I would say it's like more than a concept. His dribbling is not like super responsive, but it's still really good. Like that little dribble dribble right there is uh is sick, obviously. Good off the ball movement again. I want to see what he does in this situation. Yeah, he goes back to the striker position. Yeah, he's not one of those dudes that like just lingers on the side. Like if he's out of position, he goes back into his own position very, very quickly, which is really nice. Will he make that run right there? He's in a good position right here. I try to shield off right there. But he does ob obviously doesn't have the strength. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, it makes sense to the price that he is, guys. This is a really cool concept card. Like I said, it's uh it's not a crappy concept card, which is very good. You could actually make a pretty solid uh, Japanese team nowadays, which is pretty nice. It, was, it would be nice if those like storyline cards you can get from the seasons. Uh, for level 30, if you could just like unlock out all of them when you do the season, because I mean, it's it's not like it's a huge nuisance if you give all three cards, you know. Try a shot from that angle. Yeah, he just feels like a super usable card, you know. I, I when I usually when I do reviews for these types of cards, like sometimes I'll just call a card usable, but then he's not that good, right? But this is like a usable good card, you know. I wish Raphael Leão felt like this. Like, these base card stats that this card has, this is exactly what Raphael Leão should have had to make him more usable in this game's meta, you know? I'm waiting for that run right there. Nice. First time shot across goal. Well, it's too close to the goalkeeper there. And then he, sh he shoots it completely wide right there, but he is facing away from goal, so those shots are going to be uh, less consistent. But, um... Yeah, man, I, I like. I'm, I'm just thinking right now how like you know how like Rafael Leon was like 120k, 130k. The stats that this card has, Rafael Rafael Leon should have been similar because the boost that you give the card it has to fit that meta criteria for players to be usable. Because you know, look at the runs that this card is making and everything, right? The high medium work rates. I thought I almost scored a random turn turnaround shot right there. The high medium work rates just works perfectly with these types of cards, man, because it makes them actually move around the pitch, right? You can't really. I don't like forcing instructions out of players because it's not ideal in this game. If a player can play well without the instruction on him, then he's going to play better with the... Oh, well, he's not going to play better, but he'll play to the instruction you want to use anyways, right? So he'll play well to it. Obviously, his dribbling is going to really depend on the state of the gameplay that you're playing in, right? So most players will be sluggish anyways if it's sluggish, but if your gameplay is playable or good, he'll actually feel pretty nice. Alright guys, so we're analyzing his off-the-ball movement and everything. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll just try for the rest of the game and see what's up with this card. Ooh, nice finesse shot right there. Nice finesse shot. I actually totally forgot to check out his trait, so I have to go do that afterwards, actually. Okay guys, so I like him on the bounce instruction. I uh, literally had no problems with that. I like the way that he was moving around the pitch to open up space for himself and for others. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually tell him to stay central to fit this kind of tactic of players aggressively running forward. Let's see how he plays with it. Also, almost forgot to check out his traits. Uh, he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, so he actually took a really nice finesse shot in that situation. And it makes sense because he does at least have the 99 finishing on 93 shot power. So really nice that he was able to score that opportunity. Ooh, we got another cool concept squad. This guy got a lot of foot champs players. Probably it looks like he's it looks like he sold everybody. <laughs> I like the way that he moves uh, dribbling wise. Um, in regards to off the ball movement, you can kind of feel that he's at least like somewhat of an agile player. Not like super agile, like I said. You don't expect some sort of crazy agility boost with this card if you give him an engine chemistry style. Um, I like the way that he's moving in the stay central position because if I do this and then play off of that, could be an ideal situation. So we'll, we'll see what's up with that. Nice. Let's try a finesse shot from there. Oh, he gets blocked there. I do like him on the stay central so far. He's positioning himself well. Because players will still make the run even if they're on stay central. Like, it just depends on how they make that run. Oh, am I going to get that? No, he did an animation after that. That sucks. See, that's the important thing right there. You see that? 
oh, am I going to score that? No, I got another empty net. There you go. That's the important part right there is having players in the cam position, left cam position, right cam position that actually move off the ball really nicely. Because if you have a player like this that actually has a good passing presence to be able to pass to the oncoming cam, making that run and whatnot, very, very important to be able to dribble and be in the right position to open up that space for others, right? So... On the stay central instruction, he's good. Like I said, guys, when players move off the ball well without any instructions, that means that you can put any instruction on them and they'll play it well, right? Like some players just don't move off the ball well at all and then you have to force certain instruction then it's still not ideal, right? But with this card on the stay central, stay forward tactics, he's really nice. But again, you can tell him to come back in the fence if you really want him to, right? Try and, oh, I was going to try a finesse shot from there. You can kind of see that even on the stay central instruction, he's still pushed to the bottom side there because he likes to offer his support in the team as well, right? I think he could potentially make a very good cam as well. Finesse shot again. Ooh, a pretty good finesse shot. If I put a little bit more power into that, I might have been able to score that. He feels like he could be a usable cam as well, in all fairness. Like, his dribbling feels pretty decent. Oh, if I just shot that ball instantly, he might have been able to score that. Actually, no, maybe not. He doesn't really have the... Volley stats, right? Touchdown. Near post strike. Ah, oh, he switched to his left foot right there. That's not really his fault. The game's uh, animation choices are usually not the best. So I was, I, I, That's why it's nice to have the outside foot shot trade. Because in that situation, I would have preferred that for sure. I saw run. Do you stop at some point? I like, look, I uh, see, this is the thing with this card, right? He stops, but then look at where he's positioned right now. Hullet's the cam, he's the striker, you know? I don't want, I don't really want a rotation policy with this guy. With your left foot? Ah, uh, off balance there too. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Kamada card. Don't think that this card is going to be some special, like, overpowered hidden beast, right? But he's really fun to use and super, super usable because of the chemistry style you can give him and the base card stats that he already has. He's a really, really fun card to use. And I wish, because the high medium work rates and his 99 attacking positioning, I wish they did the same thing to Rafael Liao because this card actually feels fun in games. So if you're, if you're going for sentimental value in regards to making a Bundesliga team, Team, putting him as your striker or potentially the cam position he can play both those positions really well because of the fact that you know if you give him the engine chemistry style his base card stats for passing are already good but with the engine it's significantly improved so in those two positions he could be ideal to have he has 88 jumping which is always nice to have if you have to clear the ball out he's on stay forward he has to head the ball to other players and whatnot dribbling is not like super responsive with him don't expect him to be on the level of like Messi or Bernardo Sol but for his height and physical um, and for his body type in game, he dribbles really, really nicely. Obviously, he's going to do the weird stuff here and there if your gameplay is not good, right? So you kind of have to be more patient in regards to certain touches and whatnot because gameplay this time is never good, right? So um, pace being improved with 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed is an ideal situation because his off the ball movement is actually usable because of the high medium work rates that he has and the attacking positioning that he has. So this is the type of card where it's like when EA release, it's actually like a fun card. Like if they were to release this as a gameplay objective, it'd be the same thing too, in my opinion. So um, I, I mean, I think about so many things. Like if, if FIFA was a type of game where I can just collect different teams, like for Japanese teams, Spanish teams, all this stuff, and I can just collect these cards and put them into a squad, it would make me enjoy the game more. Like obviously the gameplay is not up to par and the game modes and the way that the foot is lined up is not really like that. But in the future, hopefully it is because the type of content we can make with these types of guys on the team would be sick because you can make such a cool Japanese team with this card in your squad too, you know? And if you're grinding the game all the time, it would just be really sick. These these cards make me excited, but they just don't have the right format and foot to really push me over the edge with, these type, with this type of stuff. But is he worth getting, guys, for 137k? Yes. This is a better card than Rafael Leao, in my honest opinion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.